What up? <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have to use this tonight. Um, I usually don't, but it's kind of like Superman with a parachute. You just never know. Just the same. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, my name is Brian Egg from the Rochester area. I know there are a few people here from Rochester, so let's get up. Rochester, yeah. Um, yeah, because they're bear with me tonight. I've been pretty sick recently. This is this is the season of sickness and illness and ailments and all those types of things. It's like a runny nose. Headache. I don't know has been sick recently. It's like the worst. You just you like can't focus on anything. You can't work. Actually, um, I was trying to get help because I was so sick. You know, I was you know just out for a little bit, but like, you know, fucking make a wish foundation on that my horse. Somehow <laughs> <laughs> I was just a cold. But um, and actually, I was start thinking like, what if I really did? You know, not gonna terminal disease. Uh, what if I really did get a terminal disease? And they're like, what would I want for make a wish foundation? They want to help me out. And like kids, you like. Go to Disneyland, or like, I want to meet Derek Jeter, or something like that. I think for me, like, I'm like fancy, like simple, like just one week with Beyonce Knowles, or something like that. <laughs> I was just in New York City, you know, she didn't have to go anywhere, but um, I know she'd say no, but I just want to see that kind of like conversation of Make a Wish Foundation and Beyonce, like, come up to her. In this scenario, Beyonce, like, just lives right on the street, and you know, they can knock on her door, but it's a joke. All right, so then no, just knock on her door and be like, you know, um, Beyonce, hi, we're with uh, Make a Wish Foundation. And um, we have a sick boy who needs your help. And she's like, oh my god, of course, you know, what, what, you know, what, what can I do to help him? And be like, okay, well, we have a list. Um, these are his words, not ours. Uh, <laughs> one week of fun with you, um, of anything goes bang a thon, where he wants to get all up in that shit until that hoe can't walk no more. <laughs> What to say? Um, yeah. A um, lot of drinks tonight. What are we drinking? Just yell it out. Yell it out. Like, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's not an AA meeting. All right, all right. Um, my favorite drink by far. I'm gonna have to say it's gonna sound a little weird. Mike's hard lemonade. I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking, Brian. But you have to have a vagina to drink Mike's hard lemonade. Uh, I thought that too, but you don't. You can have a, like I thought something with the chemistry. If you have a penis, your ears are gonna fall off or something. You're fine. Um, but I was upset. I was watching TV the other day and I saw my favorite drink, my lovely Mike's hard lemonade. Is the drink of the pedophiles? Has anyone else seen? Uh, uh, I, I don't hang out with pedophiles. Has anyone seen the um, the Dateline to catch a creeper, catch a, to catch a predator? Yeah. Every single next time you watch it, you'll see it. every single time they come up and they go on their little fucking dates, they they bring Mike's Hard Lemonade. I was like, oh, you ruined my drink. <laughs> And I, I, like, I, I don't understand that. Like, I get the show. They're putting bad people behind bars, you know. And they, but how are these guys still getting caught? It's in the, I mean, it's in the same goddamn house. Every single time. <laughs> and it's ob obviously in pedophile lane where all these pedophiles are around. But, you know, I mean, the same damn house, same scenario. They come in, and the girl is like, over here in the corner. You're the corner. Over here in the corner, and she's just like, one second, I'm doing laundry. One second, I'm doing laundry. It's gotten to the point where, like, if I go to a girl's house, even if she's older, I've known her my whole life, if I walk through the door and she's like, yeah, one second, I need to do laundry, I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of this. <laughs> NPC is coming to kick me out. It is not good at all. Um, yeah. It's a good crowd tonight. I like this crowd. I feel comfortable around you guys. Um, good crowd. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys something because I feel like we've started a relationship that's <laughs> going on for like I don't know watch. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I, two months ago I kind of had a little bit of rough point or less point rough point in my life and um, had a bit of a pregnancy scare. Yeah, oh. not me. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it's up, but that makes more sense. Um, she gave me a call. Like I mean, we had, we did the uh, sex portion, and then she gave me a call like a few weeks later. Because I'm an asshole, I'm like, hey, I haven't heard you in a while. What, are you pregnant or something? She's like, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I mean, I, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I was just like, you know, I don't understand it. Like, like I understand the I understand how a baby's made. I, I get the sperm and, like, the egg and the wizard. I understand how a baby's made. I but it just didn't make sense to me because, all right, first of all, I knew for a fact she was on the pill. So, I mean, right there, I'm like, all right, I, I used the condom. So, again, I'm like, how was a baby coming from this? You know, I faked it. <laughs> and on top of that, while she was sleeping, I punched her in the belly just like, just like, you know, baby, she's not a baby. It's a pain flap. Uh, no, I mean, it, it turned out being OK. 
okay, she gave me a few calls later, and she was like, hey, and I was like, hey. She was like, guess what's bleeding? I was like, your vagina! <laughs> I want to do this as a stand-up comedian. I feel like it's need, needed to be said, and it's just long overdue. Just take a second. Let's give it up for our boys at uh, boys and girls at FDNY and NYPD. I think, I think they did a round of applause. Not, not everybody. Is there anybody here tonight? NYPD. Yeah. All right, I'm here. FD. FD. That's awesome. Oh, you too. Right, Mark. Are you guys in the calendars today, by chance? You're normal, right, by chance. No, I, I think I think I do have what it takes to be a firefighter. Like maybe not all the way, but um. <laughs> but, like, no, 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 like like for example, no, for example, hear me out, for example, bye bye. Um, for, for, no, for example, like like on the way here, I uh I burnt my thumb on my blow dryer, and like I cried for like five minutes, but like. You guys don't understand. I, I got you guys. I understand. Um, I, I, I don't think I'd want to be a police officer. Um, not because you know it's any worse, or, you know, any harder or easier. I just think I don't agree with the methods that they use as police officers. I think I think the police officers here are you know overlooking serious you know just punishment that's long overdue, always works. You know I, I feel like police officers need to start tarring and feathering patrons <laughs> that break the law. I mean I mean come on. I mean like how, I mean if you break the law, oh I got handcuffs, I'm slamming against the car. That's it. But I mean like if you know you're gonna get tar, like tar, poured down, <laughs> and, like get bedazzled with feathers, I mean you're like you're not gonna break the law. Just not walking around downtown like tarring jaywalkers and stuff. Like, <laughs> But you know, but also on top of that, cops should be able to just do like cool like catchphrases again. Like, remember the shows? They'll be like, they'll just say something really cool. They can be like, you're about to get burned, or like, I don't, I don't know. They can say something like, don't break the law because it's gonna get hot. <laughs> so, it sounds more like a cop porno, really. Bad. <laughs> right, anyway, I got to use my uh, oh. Um, no, but I wouldn't want to be caught. I think it'd be more. I think I'd be more appropriate for the like the mafia role. Like that would be pretty cool. Like, well, not like I don't want to shoot anyone or like deal cocaine or anything like that. I just like want to eat spaghetti in a restaurant, <laughs> drink wine, and smoke cigars. Like, if I can be that mafia member, that would be awesome. <laughs> I don't have that job though, and you know, I'm not Italian, so that's not gonna help me out. And I don't think there is a German mafia. I wouldn't want to form one because like the last time that happened, the whole. <laughs> There already is an American Nazi party. Do you guys know that? There's an American Nazi party. It's more commonly known as Republicans. But, um. <laughs> oh, shoot. Political singer. Um, no, that's, that's the only one of the night. I know nothing about politics. Like, little to nothing. Like, I thought Connelly's rice was like a new ramen noodle flavor. Like, no, I didn't. I love New York City. I love it a lot. Um, I love everything about it. The one thing definitely I wouldn't do is, uh, I wouldn't own a dog in New York City. I love dogs, but I wouldn't own a dog because, like, any dog owners here, what's the worst part of owning a dog? In front of everyone, and there's a parade going by. Like, especially in Manhattan, like, there's a lot of good looking girls in Manhattan, and like you can have like little conversations, like, "Oh my God, I like your dog. Really, I like your rat." It's um, like, conversations can happen, but if you're going down to like get a pile of dog shit, it's like you can't be like. You think that's big? Like nothing. <laughs> Nothing's coming. Um, <laughs> no, no. Um, well, I'm gonna leave you guys on this. Um, I, this is this is a lot of drinking, a lot of good-looking people tonight. I, I just you clap your hands if you get late tonight. You feel like you might be getting late. Yes. Yes. Love sex. Um, I never got into sex on their own. We're talking about sex. It's okay. We're, um, I've had sex in their own kind of way. It kind of has to like, like, like some people like dirty talk, some people like um, you know uh, role play or something like that. Mine is very simple too. Um, I have a little kind of flavor that I like when I'm making love to a beautiful woman, probably a beautiful woman. When I'm making love to a beautiful woman, I like it when she sings the intro to Lion King. Like,